question of Starbucks. Starbucks is looking to ban plastic straws by 2020. You're familiar with these. This one tells me it's not recommended for use in hot beverages. As the coffee giant redesigns the shape of its cups, uh, today, Starbucks announced that it was going to get rid of the plastic straws. And Hyatt Hotels announced it's also abandoning straws. The latest companies that have been persuaded to abandon the prolific plastic straw. The World Wildlife Fund is one such persuader. The Director of Sustainability Research is Erin Simon and joins me now. Erin uh, Simon obviously must be delighted when people like Starbucks announce uh, that they're going to get rid of these plastic straws. That's real progress. Yes, yes it is. I mean, we're looking at an enormous problem here. Um, we have over 8 million metric tons of plastic that's entering the ocean every year, and so we look to companies to help us solve that problem, and that's going to happen in a variety of different ways, right? So getting rid of some of the plastics that are unnecessary, like straws, that's a great way to start. And having a brand like Starbucks, a, a, a brand that has such a global reach and power, um, start out by saying, we're gonna get rid of all of them by 2020. Um, that, that sets a nice line in the sand that says, uh, we need everybody to come to the table and do the same thing. Um, but that's just one of the ways that we have to look at uh, addressing right. that plastic waste problem. Uh, I often wonder though, when I think of the plastic straw and then I think of the great polluting countries or the great polluting industries I mean are we not sort of at the tokenism end when you're talking about plastic Absolutely. straws uh, it's nice that Starbucks isn't it but come on let's have an honest moment here is getting rid of plastic straws really going to make that much difference when there are bigger fish to fry pardon the puns no that's a really great point and I'm glad you brought that up because Getting rid of straws is just a small piece of the waste that's entering our oceans, right? And I think that today, what it does is it's meaningful and it connects the consumer to this large issue, but there is much more that needs to be done, right? And so companies like Starbucks are looking at other initiatives to address other parts of the waste stream that they are contributing to. So one of the things they are doing is engaging in the next gen cup challenge, which is trying to address the fact that hot and cold cups today aren't really accepted in most recycling programs. And so it's looking at how they can change the design of the right. cup so okay. that we can get it back, right? So that's another right. piece. What, uh, it's what? gonna take a number of different things. What is, uh, what is driving this in terms of uh, corporations getting involved? Because here I am, look, I've got a Coca-Cola uh, cup with a plastic lid and a straw. Now, I can imagine this is sort of the sort of thing that will send you into apoplexy of, 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 because it's, it's, got everything that, it's got everything that I shouldn't have necessarily. But it all came from the canteen down the road. It all came in, you know, there has to be a better way of doing it. So what drives corporations in deciding how to do this better? Is it political pressure? Is it consumers? I think it's a combination of everything, right? Over the past, you know, three or four years, the marine debris issue has really risen to the top of some of the, you know, the of the, you know, this social media momentum, right? And so I think there's this huge interest in understanding what we need to do to address the problem. We had some great science that came out in 2015 that said the root cause of marine debris is surprise, surprise, limited and lacking waste management, and especially in areas of the world where they have no, um, you know, no waste management whatsoever, and there are areas where the populations are growing and they're buying a lot more stuff. So it really helped okay. rally not only companies, but the scientific community um, together to say, okay, we understand the problem. We understand that there's a number of things we need to do to look at better material systems, better way to right. make our products, better way to use, use them, and then above all else, making sure that none of that material, whether it's plastic or any other, ends up in our ecosystem.